you doing? Good to see you or be seen by you. <laughs> it is my hope that all is well in your world. You know, better every day in every way. We are continuing on with our adventure with the bar stools, benches, chairs for the littles. And they are in need of some color, some finish, and a cushy top. The kids get a cushy top just like the rest of us do. So, Camera Girl says, since she got the hourglass figure bench and the stain that was used on that, she wants these to match since the legs were done in a similar matter, manner, quite the same. But we'll use the same Puritan pine, okay? That is one where the, the pigment does not separate out from the carrier. It, it doesn't settle to the bottom like some of the others do, but not nearly so much, maybe tiny little bit, but if you can't hardly even tell. So, but one of the things that it does, it accents the knots and wherever there is a a break in the surface, like an end grain or something, it will wick into there a little bit more and you will get a, uh, it will produce a, a darker little streakiness around, around the end of the thing or end of the log or the, wherever there's a, some sort of break, a knot or something, and you get an extra little highlight from that. She likes that, so. <laughs> She gets what she likes. <laughs> so that's going to be the, the stain on it. And we're going to use the same wipe on poly stuff. And I put it on with a brush and then, you know, but it behaves very nice, very easy to use. I like it. So what else after that? So we got, we got to put a cushy top on it. So we're going to put, uh, hmm. I had to spend some money, a little bit. Not much, because half of the cushy top is this. <laughs> look, look at that. It's carpet scraps from a floor. Brand new carpet. It's got, what is this called? The jute back, the little, okay. It's not the foam back, it's, it's real, almost like sandpaper back. Very, yeah. Anyhow, get to the point, Michael. Yes, okay. Carpet. So the carpet we're going to glue on first with just with some construction, in a tube construction adhesive. Going to glue that down. And then that's like, oh, this, the plywood, is like bone. It's like, you know, you sit down and it's your bone. You're sitting on the bone, <laughs> okay? So here, here's the bone, here's the muscle, and uh, this is the skin. It's, in this case, she gets camouflage skin on it. Yeah, nice cotton. What pattern is that? Uh, real tree. It's a real tree pattern. Anyhow, I like it. She likes it. The littles like it. So that's what they get. Has nice color on it. If they spill something on it, it disappears into the camel. <laughs> so it gets that. But it still needs more cush. So a little more cush for the tush. And that's where this stuff comes in. And what is it? Mattress topper. I don't like this one because it's got the squares in it. I don't like this stuff that's got the cuts in it, all these cuts. You know, they do stuff that's supposed to make it better and it really makes it worse, at least for what I'm doing. So that's where I bought something. We won't use that. We're going to use this stuff. <laughs> it's the, that other was an inch and a half thick. This stuff is two inches. That's the thinnest I can get of it and still use you see what this is? It's not really that heavy. It's premium mattress topper. Yeah. I can get from one mattress topper 
I can get, let's see, 16, 20, enough to cover 20 bar stools with that stuff that goes, that the stuff that you find in between, yeah, bone, muscle, and then there's a substance there, and then there's skin. Well, this is the skin. This is the muscle. That's the bone. And this stuff, uh, <laughs> it's only one, but it gives some cush on the bar stool. So we're, and we're going to use that. And then we cut it up with, what do we do? It goes on a clamped down on a piece of plywood with the foam stuff in between and this on top, a 15 inch circle. Yeah, 15 inch circle. These are, end up being 11 and 5 eighths. I know I say 12, but once the stuff's on it, it's 12 inches. Right now, 11 and 5 eighths. That way I can get 32 pieces out of one sheet of plywood. Get really good plywood, get 30, 32, enough for 32 bar stools out of one sheet. And then for the mattress topper stuff, <laughs> the cush for the tush that wraps around because, oh, oh, I'm going to have to get the one I threw on the floor. Oh, it's way down here. Okay. This, there, look, as it goes around, look, at, can you see that? And it, it wraps around, but it also, 11 and 5 8 circle, 12 inch. This, 15 inch, and this goes on, and it wraps around, and of course it's got the little carpet pad underneath, the muscle, and the skin on top, that's, you know, cloth. Okay, but it wraps around, and it's enough so it wraps all the way here. Look, look close, all the way around, and it wraps all the way around. And it's not, it's not much cush. It is when the carpet's behind it. But this wraps around, and it once the cloth is there, once the cloth is there, it gives a little something. Here, look, it gives a little something so. When you go and the littles catch the edge of the bench with their fingers and go to slide it and move it, they got something for their fingers to hook on, to catch. There's a little bump. It sticks up about that much on the bottom of the bench, if I do this just right, where they can catch it like that and move it. And they just slide them around and it goes really easy for them. And then to fasten that on, what do we get? Oh. Here, look. Yes. Look at this. Okay? You see that? And no, none of these people, none, none of these things that I'm using, nobody is a sponsor of this channel. Nobody pays me to say anything about any of this stuff, okay? <laughs> it's just what I found to be the best, whether it's a GRK screws, or this is a really nice, very inexpensive, uh, but <clears throat> it's got a lot of quality to it. It'll shoot maybe a few million staples, okay? And it shoots, what is it? Oh, okay. They're just a half inch leg. That's all they are. Skinny little staples, upholstery stuff. It's in like that. But what it has, it's really nice. See this long, skinny nose? I know you don't want a long, skinny nose. Not on your face, but on a stapler, that's different. A long, skinny nose, so you can get it in there and you heck, can get your fingers around it, and you never shoot your fingers. I, I've shot a staple through my finger once. It's not good. It bleeds really bad. Yeah. But... We're going to use this stapler. Works great. I really like it. Okay, Porter Cable. And the staples. Oh, there's lots to choose from. Here. What do we got? 
three eighths crown, three eighths of an inch across the top. Yeah. I just showed you half inch, half inch long, three eighths this way. And this box, this great big box, it's already shot. How many? Uh, see how much is missing? I've probably done 40 bar stools out of this box. I think there's 10,000? 10,000 10, 10, staples in this box. I use a lot of staples. So we're going to shoot the staples in there. A pattern for everything. This is the cloth pattern. 19 inch diameter. We do the, just lay it out. Mark it with a magic marker. And cut the cut the circles out with the scissors very fast, very easy. Yeah, I get uh, what, enough to do, enough material to do a couple hundred bar stools at a time. But this is, I like the camel cover, it's really nice. Oh, flattening feet. Here, look at the feet. Okay. I need to go around and around these with the sander. I'll use the disc sander to go around and get and get it as round. At first, I don't touch this at all, not the bottom. I'll go around and sand the edge, sand the edge, sand the edge. And it might take a minute to do, you know, the whole bench. But to do around, around, and, and then take the orbital sander and with a little bit more pressure on the heel than out at the toe, at the heel here. So once it's done, there's only maybe a couple thousands less on the heel than there is at the toe, but the pressure is out at the toe. It's the longest out at the toe. So it's gotten more stability. I want it as stable as possible. And if it's touching here, even though it's a few thousands, you know, I like that better. And then I get it nice and smooth, and I don't distort the bottom as just very as little as possible. So if, if someone wants to put one of them slidey stick-on feet or something, it still works good on there. So don't distort, I don't, I don't distort that. Just clean up the edge so you can slide it around just like it is. Very nice, because I like to do stuff without spending money to make something amazing, make something beautiful, make something the camera girl likes. It's nice and easy and good and long-lasting as possible. So there. Well, here we are at the moment of truth. <laughs> there, you know, when you go along and you think you understand enough to make it all work and you make choices based on previous experience and you think, I can make a slight deviation here and it will be okay. <laughs> Guess what? <laughs> it was an absolute pain in the glutamus maximus. That's exactly what it was. I thought I wasn't, I wasn't able to find the foam mattress pad that I usually use. Wasn't able to find it. Don't know why. So I got this instead. Two inch thick, and two inch thick instead of inch and a half. And it had all of these stupid little holes cut into it. And after the fact, something that they did to it. I picked out stuff that on the picture didn't have any of these stupid little holes in it, but it's full of holes. That's not what presented the problem. It was an assortment of things. It was a collection of, oh, that's awful. Every, every choice connects with this one, this one, 
and the ramifications of one choice, even though this turned out absolutely beautiful. I really like it. This bench, this Little's bench, it's the tallest of the three. This Little's bench, which I chose to put together and put the top on it when there's no camera running because I didn't know what I would find. Oh, there's words that I can't use on YouTube that would describe what I found. Oh, but that doesn't change the fact that this stuff worked out really good. This could be my go-to product for when I don't use the fancy airless sprayer because ease of use, use, ease of use on here, excellent. Finished product, excellent. The appearance of it, excellent. I really like the finish, how it behaved. This was great. Slight deviation from what we had done before, but it was a better end result. This stuff, even though, okay, the inch and a half thicker, my normal method of cutting it by just taking the pattern, okay, take the pattern, clamp it down on the piece of foam with, what did I clamp it down with? I just use these big booger snatchers, these big clamps, clamp it down on a piece of plywood, it squishes down, cut around it with a very sharp knife, okay? It didn't work as good, it was thicker, it didn't clamp down the same, it didn't behave the same. Now, over the course of time, I could probably overcome all of these obstacles, but I'm not going to pass them on to you, the obstacles. I'm just going to tell you, using this thicker foam was a pain. It was difficult. My fingers, even though I got vice grip fingers, had to pull more, tuck more to get it to wrap around here correct and look like a magnificently topped little Littles bench. It was much more of a challenge to make it work. So what did I try? Oh, this one, if you can see, I took it, I cut it out approximately, went over to the bandsaw, the little bandsaw, and I cut this out on the little bandsaw. It cut really nice on there as far as cutting it. So it's nice and true and stuff. It's still got them stupid holes in it that I don't like, but it cut it out good. But then getting the thicker foam to wrap around the plywood top so that they have a little edge to pull on, that was a pain. It just was a, oh, again, I have to restrict myself from using words that I would, I don't usually use those words anyhow unless it's something that's just a, oh, what have we gone to? I found, I searched on the internet, and I had to go to a different supplier where they had this stuff. And I'm going to try this, but it appears to be the same as, maybe it is the same that I used before, not sure. Made by design. Oh, okay. They designed it to be, and it hasn't got the holes, the pearl, all the little half-inch holes punched through it, and it's an inch and a half thick. It seems to be the same consistency, density as I had used before. So we can use the little carpets. Those little carpets on top, they work out great. They take the, the, what? It's like muscle, you know? There is a rigidity to muscle, but there is a movement when you press up against muscle, massive muscles, ruggedly, okay. When you press up against the muscles, you go, oh, look at that. Camera girl says, I got muscles. She likes my muscles. She's never said anything about that other stuff that's in between the skin and the muscle that she thinks that's wonderful. She's never said that that stuff's wonderful. That the foam, yeah, this stuff. But it does have cush. <laughs> so we're gonna we're gonna try this again. I got two more benches and gonna film those 
and any extra commentary needed, if there's any, will be added at the end. Otherwise, this is magnificent. I really like it. The Littles will think that their Littles benches are great. So they can come over, and they don't call her Camera Girl, they call her Nana. They'll come over and see Nana, and she'll have snacks for them. And they can sit on these beautiful little benches, and they can just be happy. <laughs> yeah, and we can enjoy the journey. 